Good afternoon everyone, uh, I'm back with another video today uh, and as I said in a previous video I want to try and bring you uh, hope and peace in these tricky days uh, and over the last few videos uh, I've shared with you examples from the Bible uh, where Jesus brings those around him hope and peace and today really I want to share with you an experience in my own life uh, that was probably the toughest uh, thing that I've gone through and uh, how Jesus brought me hope and peace through that time. Uh, for those of you who perhaps don't know me, um, I love, I absolutely love football and I currently work for a Christian sports charity called Sports Reach and I also play for a team called Quorma uh, in the Sports Reach 11 Aside League uh, and last season uh, on the 30th of April uh, we were playing our, our final league game of the season uh, and in that game I made a tackle that unfortunately ended up in me breaking my leg uh, it was a complete accident uh, and I could make that tackle again 99 times uh, and never actually break my leg again it was such a, a freak accident but I knew straight away that I had broken my leg um, as my leg hit the floor it hit it in two stages uh, and there was an incredibly loud crack as well uh, the referee took my boot off my sock off and my shin pad off uh, I know nothing was sticking out though there was no bones saying hello uh, you could tell that my leg didn't look right at all it was incredibly painful um, and it was a really strange feeling uh, it was a pain that I had never ever experienced before and yet I could cope with it despite the great pain and despite the fact that I'd broken my leg I had a great peace you know you would expect uh, having broken a leg to be writhing about in agony to, to be unable to cope you know and that's kind of what I fully expected I'd be like if I ever did break a leg but that wasn't the case, I, I was able to sit up, I was able to interact with people, uh, I was completely calm. You know, and I always hoped that whenever adversity came my way, uh, I would be able to glorify God in the midst of that situation. But until the rubber hits the road, you can never be certain of how you'll cope with a situation like that. But I was able to cope, and like I've already mentioned, I was able to sit up, I was able to interact with people, I was able to watch some of the football that was on uh, on somebody's phone, uh, just chat and have a laugh and, and just like it was a normal time almost, you know I was completely calm, I, I had a complete peace, you know and there is a verse in the Bible which says the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus and that was a peace that I had you know I couldn't explain it at all but that was how I felt that that was nothing to do with me that was none of my own peace uh, and that is the same peace that I, I have at this time now of course it worries me those who, who are suffering from coronavirus but I have a peace at everything that is going on because I know that God is in control of whatever happens next uh, and following that after I'd broken my leg, a first responder arrived uh, and then an ambulance who took me to hospital where my leg was x-rayed uh, and it was confirmed that I had indeed broken my leg and I'd broken it uh, in three separate places. But this was the unknown step, the next step was unknown. You know, would I be placing a cast for my, cut, for my recovery or, or would I need surgery to correct the break? And well the answers they came pretty quickly well they came at the same time to be precise uh, as uh, the nurse had my broken leg in her hand starting to plaster it an orthopaedic doctor came uh, and told me that she thought my leg was going to need operating on to correct the break such was the angle of, of the bones and, and whatnot, and to straighten my leg out and as much as I had a piece throughout the whole time up until that moment it was the news that I didn't want to hear I really didn't want an operation uh, and they finished putting the plaster on my leg and shortly after that I was taken for a second x-ray and as I was wheeled 
uh, round to the x-ray department I prayed and I prayed and I prayed uh, and the whole way and whilst being x-rayed I was praying I was praying that I wouldn't need surgery and that my leg would have been corrected by the plaster that had been put on but I did also pray that, that whatever God's will was that will be done and that I will glorify God through this leg break now, and following the x-ray the doctors came and they told me that they, they didn't think I would now need the surgery that the cast, the way the cast had been put on it had sufficiently aligned my bones and they were happy to that and what a relief that was what an answer to prayer that was and you know prayer is powerful I also knew that many people would be praying for me after finding out about my leg uh, and one person who was praying for me uh, also shared with me a, a particular verse from the book of Psalms in the Bible. Now when they were praying for me they couldn't get this this particular psalm out of their head. You know, it's quite a well known psalm uh, but these particular verses they didn't know uh, and they kept being drawn to them. Uh, and these verses say this He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber now what a comfort what a perfect verse that was in that time you know God can speak to us using the Bible and what a perfect verse that was for me at that time I knew no matter what happened what went on that my leg wouldn't need surgery and that God would be with me every step of the way I knew that God would bring me hope and peace in that time. I just knew that I had to trust in God for all those things and he would help me and he would guide me. And these verses, uh, these different verses that, that were special to me then at that time were just as special to me now uh, in these times that we are facing. And these verses will come up on the screen now and they say this. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God he will not let your foot slip he who watches over you will not slumber so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. My leg now is, is virtually fully healed. Uh, and I was looking forward to the Easter holidays and being allowed to get back playing. Uh, that's not going to be the case now. But that's fine. Because God is in control. Whatever happens today, tomorrow... Well, next week, God is in control. God is sovereign. You know, these days haven't caught him by surprise. You know, I had many plans last summer for what I wanted to do. But, you know, they weren't God's plans for me. And you know what? God's plans were so much better than my plans. You know, I might have been in a cast for six months. But that was far better than what I wanted to do. You know, I've been able to share with so many people in a way that I wouldn't have been able to had I not broken my leg. Being able to sit here now and share with you about the peace and the hope that God brings in difficult times. You know, trust me when I say this. God wants to know each and every one of us. He wants us to live our lives for him and to glorify him in all that we do. And he can bring us hope and peace in these difficult times you know I've made four of these videos now you know look back on each one to see and hear how God can help bring peace and hope in troubled days like these you know please don't hesitate in asking any questions that you might have you know we've all got plenty of time on our hands now but don't say no to God without investigating it take this time to think about God think about who he is thanks for watching